Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Time to do the flanker of very popular Valentino Vumo fragrance, which is called Valentino uh, Vumo Aqua. This I have a small official miniature of a 4ml. Um, and the fragrance actually I'm gonna do a review based on that. So the findings can be not, I mean like, 100% what you get from a full-on bottle, but I did try this fragrance several times and I ended up not buying the full bottle and I got a sample to review, like a miniature to review. So you guys know like Valentino Vumo is one of my favorite fragrances. I think it's 2014, they released the first one. I could be wrong again. I just vaguely remember. They came out with this Valentino Vumo. Valentino Vumo had a beautiful bottle. It looks like a, like a whiskey container, something like, you know, alcoholic beverage. You can uh, keep it started pattern of the bottle very nice this aqua looks similar to this but a little bit taller because these are 100 ml and the aqua comes in 50 75 and big bottles 125 or 135 i don't remember but a little bit taller bottle so this has nice metal plate uh, really horrible uh, cap like thingy but apart from that bottle looks really really good so the first one was similar to people say dior um but they have the difference so this one is a lot more chocolatey a uh, lot more creamy a lot more sweeter uh, i mean the fragrance is not very long uh, lasting but the fragrance actually is nice to wear if you like something softer in nature so this one was the first one then they released i think uh Valentino vomo uh, perhaps there's a limited time release the dark bottle like a matte black i did not try it i heard it's the same thing as this one Valentino vomo intense this is one of my babies i really uh, bought this the day it came out i think it was like two days or so it was launched in malaysia i bought the full bottle about 500 uh, something ringgit it's like 100 dollars plus that time i was crazy about this fragrance i really wanted it and this fragrance served me really well leather chocolatey again stronger version of valentino vomo and this fragrance it's really potent in winter time i really enjoy rocking this then i did buy the noir absolu i think what's the name of that valentino vomo noir absolu like the darker bottle i'll leave all the links below you can check my reviews so so far, Valentino Omo line was like doing good, you know, and they did not do so badly because they did not release like crazy like uh, boss bottles or they did not release like a 30 uh, flankers of same fragrance that you get lost in and get lost and, you know, you get confused. Which one was that again, you know? So they have done like four or five bottles. I think it's easy to remember and if you want to collect them all, they're not that many. So they did it okay. So I think 2017 or so they released this Aqua version. And I've been trying this for three times. Uh, I went to a shop, um, Star Wars Metro Mall, Masum Bhai's shop, and um, I tried the fragrance on my skin. I really wanted to buy this, trust me. I wanted to buy this so bad because it smells so nice for a very little period of time. <laughs> so you guys can understand like the reason why not to buy it. It's not actually cheap. This is kind of like $75 territory for 125 or 30, whatever the big bottle size, but the fragrance has potency issues. So I'll uh, review and I'll, as I go along, I'll tell you performance again. So the box is going to be same like Valentino Vomo boxes. I bought this miniature from Stalin Enterprise. Uh, I saw it, I grabbed it. So I thought like for the review, this is going to be perfect. So this is, says aqua, but I do not find it to be very aquatic kind of fragrance. I'll tell you in a bit. Nice little packaging, even though miniature looks very cute. Okay. It says Valentino up here. Okay. So the bottle here, one of my friend, I think Brett from, uh, states he told me like this bottle is reminded him of a kind of like old days uh window partition or like the glasses you know they use in outside or bathrooms you know like a kind of like um frosted uh at the same time this kind of pattern and i can kind of see that back in the time you know we used to see this so this is a similar looking bottle to this and you're gonna f buy the full bottle of a big bottle you're gonna get something like this with a little bit taller bottle juice color is gonna be a little bit greenish in there this one has a cap but no spray this is a 4 ml sample and at the bottom you find some information here very nice even though cute even though like small is very cute so the cap it, the whole thing comes out okay and this one doesn't have a stick or anything it's just the cap so what i did was my application was i put like a little bit on the cap and then i put this on my hand like this or so i'll let's put a little bit more because this was Okay, let's put some for the review. Okay, I put a little bit here. It's equivalent to like, let's say, uh, half spray or one spray of the main bottle. So this fragrance, uh, I was telling you, first thing, it smells very, very beautiful. 
okay I'll, I'll not lie this fragrance smells like what and lighted take would be like on a Valentino Vumo fragrance much less sweeter much more fresher with mandarin orange they said tomato tomato leaf I don't this doesn't smell like tomato to me you know like tomato tomato doesn't smell like that, but smells fresh it reminds me sort of like Prada loam flankers you know it has iris so the iris it's very nice fresh citrusy and not very creamy not very heavy thick feeling so prada loam if you like prada loam if you like durum o i've had a miniature it's similar in nature with these okay subpar with these ones so prada loam durum o valentino vomo aqua similar territory but with their own differences so mandarin orange is very prominent and it does smell very very posh and luxurious to be honest the smell is just outstanding and I really wanted to buy it based on that first spray, initial spray, but uh, after 10 minutes or so, I realized this came very close to my skin inside the shop. And I'm like, maybe perhaps it's the air conditioning going on. I sprayed from a full on bottle. So I came out, I thought like, give it some time. Maybe I'll go back next day. And I sprayed on the paper, brought it back. Next day I woke up, nothing on the paper whatsoever. Nothing, absolutely nothing. It's like brand new paper. And it got me very upset because usually the fragrance that I spray on papers last about two decent days, I can sniff it. So on the skin, it was awful. On the paper, it was awful, performance-wise. Um, I went back to the shop the next day. I just wanted to give it like second chance. You know, I just really, really wanted to buy it. Uh, I asked few people, like, what do they get from this? Some people said they get great performance. Um, perhaps my weather condition did not allow it. Second day also, it was a failure. So I ended up not buying this fragrance. And it's sad when you have to pass on a fragrance which smells good, but doesn't last and it's little bit more pricey if it was like 35 40 bucks i would still buy it if it's under 50 dollars, i would buy it but 75 70 dollars eh, not cheap so that price range you can get ultra male which is a beast mode performance performer but different kind of smell so this is kind of like reminds me also of salvatore ferragamo i think uh, casual life or free time either one of those is like the i have reviewed that i put the link below i think it was casual uh, casual life okay so that one was a lighter take on Salvatore Ferragamo Vomo. I love that. Again, same thing. Performance was a problem. I did not buy that as well. So for me, I just noticed, you know, fragrance has to last decent time. You know, like Prada Lom does like five, six hours decent performance. I mean, if you see, I did not buy Durham. Oh, people see it has a good performance, but I do not get the best performance out of it. So I need at least three hours from a fragrance, which this one delivered to fail to deliver on me. So different skin condition different countries you might get better performance but for me this was a pass because of the performance versus the price ratio so nice smelling it does get a little bit like uh, falls kind of flat and doesn't have much transformation it's like a sweet uh iris remains you know kind of like maybe sandalwood or something and it's just like not very watery also not aquatic so the fragrance has nice scent profile with a very poor longevity okay that's my conclusion from this and i would say valentino vumo aqua smell wise i'll give it nine out of ten but the performance i'll give it two out of ten because it's so poor on the skin but again give it a try and see what you like overall this fragrance like considering everything i'll give it like a five out of ten because price point and the performance doesn't add up but for the smell it's a nine okay so that's a review for valentino vumo aqua for you thanks for watching and thanks for supporting and i'll be doing some more reviews in upcoming days see you soon Bye bye